Hello and welcome to the show. We start this Fowl Race episode with Mad JDM Bro on Horizon 3, finding two trams heading in the same direction. I can't have ever seen the trams sync up as well as this, and it certainly confused the driver tars as two of them manage to get stuck in front of them, and then one of them gets launched into space. Who knew trams could send cars to orbit and then, there it is, coming crashing back down. Not such a good day for the, the poor HSV. Uh, up next, we've got a Mazda RX-8. And I always approve of people running uh, RX-8s and managing to score a flag in the most fail racy of ways and then tumble and then boxes add in some additional rolls in all of that. Apparently, yes, the uh, the wooden crates and so on are uh, extra bouncy. GTG Ultratech is a racing clear Williams, another car that I very much approve of. And this one also, in the most foul race of manners, manages to tumble off a curb. That's actually quite impressive, impressive going to have rolled the car straight off of a curb with no rain involved at all. Stephen Magnet is uh, messing around with a train, as you can see. Little bit laggy, little bit glitchy train here and as he goes to put his escort in front of it game has a little bit of a freeze and the best way to resolve it is to bounce the ford across the map in many many spins he does eventually find a tree as well uh, yeah trains are trains are dangerous things to uh, mess about with uh, cosmos 12 on the original horizon is racing a 177 against a helicopter when the aston martin has had enough and decides that it should probably be on its roof and in the crash barrier does get go does get pointing in the right direction and does get going once more it's a very very unusual role and when we come to a third person camera it doesn't really explain it any better we go to turn into the corner it just gets fired it's almost as if they have one of those stunt cars with the uh, the hydraulic rams that come down to, to launch vehicles over. I don't know why that one decided it wanted to be in the air. It did, however, and it did quite a spectacular roll on to GTA 5 next with a little bit of a clip on a civilian car, and that can lead you to all sorts of trouble. A pretty well-stuck landing on this ledge here, although a sad, sad sight. There is a burnt-out mop of her, and uh, that's never a good thing. A Toy GT1 is uh, driving through the streets of Los Santos, minding his own business completely, when a player bails out of a passing car, splatters the front of it. Amazingly, the player survived all of that. Like, you couldn't time that if you tried it, but, uh, yeah, well done. Well done. Uh, Vinny Scaletto on Mafia 3 is working out where to go, and uh, as he sets off, has to drive up a set of stairs. The game decides that it's not going to be an easy task, and his pickup truck goes for a backflip. Apparently stairs are complicated, although he's not the only one having issues. A house in Fura is uh, also a Mafia 3, got a little bit more of a sporty car this time, as we are heading for a jump. Get across the jump, no problem. Not quite snuck the landing, though. This time it's one and a half backflips for <laughs> a sports car, as, uh, yeah, I think there's a tiny little, tiny little lip on the landing that he caught that launched the car. Uh, DK, though, most impressive of the lot of them, finds the garbage bags that launch his muscle car. Not quite for a roll initially, we kind of cartwheel, and then we roll our way into the water. Yeah, garbage bags are not to be messed around with in Mafia 3. They are very, very dangerous indeed. Our, our Ouroboros, sorry, on a race room racing experience is a Bathurst with a Porsche that doesn't really want to stay on its wheels. That is a massive accident for the 911. Uh, I can't say, I've played this game a fair bit, I actually quite like Race Room, I can't say I've managed to launch cars onto uh, onto their roof before. Co Cole Yote is uh, also having problems with the BMW that uh, <laughs> grazes off the door of a Lamborghini and tumbles and tumbles and that is very, very much out of the race. Uh, Mr. On R Factor is, actually this is on board an AI car uh, further back in the field, I don't know what caused the mayhem up ahead, but the AI cars certainly aren't slowing down for it, as the car we're following gets launched, rolls his way across across the field and is perfectly okay to carry on. Black and red 81 on a NASCAR Heat Evolution as it's a big crash and somebody else has gone to space and then lands again back down, that time perfectly on his wheels. That's a really rather, rather large crash. I don't know if it's a player car that caused the accident or quite uh, where it is from, but uh, that is a big, big flight for <laughs> that car as, well, most of the lower half of the field. Uh, involved in that wreck. Apex Motorsport on Wreckfest takes a corner and the rear wheel gives up. A suspension incredibly interestingly wonky on the BMW to begin with, but uh, 
Yeah, that, that wheel is not supposed to be at that angle. And he can't get it going, and everyone else is now just piling into, uh, into his car. The vehicle does still drive, and the wheel is still powered, despite being at a 90-degree angle to where it should be. However, of course, yeah, being powered at that angle is not particularly <laughs> helpful, as you can imagine. Car not, not very drivable at this stage. He's managed to make an absolute mess for everybody else still in the race, but uh, yeah, that's pretty mackered. And finally, that's Mudkip on Stock Car Extreme is having the AIs with big issues. Go karts at a normal at a normal car circuit. Uh, go karts can't quite deal with curbs or in, in general physics. To be honest, this uh, white and pink one not having a good day. Rolled off a curb and then rolled off the side of another car, launching it into the tire barriers. It goes. Yeah, apparently he's not particularly well designed for a <laughs> circuit. As one of the super karts now goes for a tumble. In fact, I think I remember this circuit from a Formula Truck. It's a great circuit. I really like this track. But uh, super karts. Not not so good. And we even have a fail race coloured one almost having a big off and the roll underneath the bridge. An impressive roll actually, getting through that gap underneath the bridge. And then we're gonna come to a rest. Uh, rather rather stuck. Yeah, turns out not uh, not too happy around that particular circuit. However, that is going to be it for this episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to the series, then you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description at the very top of the page is the Failrace Clip Submission section. And in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. But that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>